Dr. Samari, how has working with the Afghanistan Independent Human Rights Commission changed over the years? Well, uh, I have to say that when we began, uh, we began I was given the, the responsibility to work for the establishment of the Human Rights Commission in 9 March of 2002. Uh, when Mary Robinson was the High Commissioner for Human Rights, she came to be with us, with me, particularly because I was Minister of Women's Affairs, to uh, celebrate 8 March. And then in 9 March, we had the first workshop for, on human rights and establishment for the Human Rights Commission. And at the end of the day, they announced that I should be a focal point from the government side, as I didn't have enough work. I mean, it was a lot of work on the ministry itself. So we began that, and, we, and then we had several workshops with civil society and NGOs, and some of the, um, the international groups who were working on human rights, like Human Rights Watch, Amnesty, and all those. And then we came up with, with a lot of support from the Office of the High Commissioner with the uh, prop uh, legislation and then an action plan for establishment of the Human Rights Commission. So I took the legislation to the President on 6 June 2002 to sign it. It should have been established before the law emergency law jerga. So push the President to read and sign it, and he signed it. And I was not the Commissioner, of course, on that time, but then I was put to that position because they were thinking it's a sideline position, so not to be in the cabinet. It was a lot of uh, uh, resistance against me because I was calling for justice. Um, so that's from that moment that we began after the emergency law in Jirge, we had no experience. Of course, I was, I was interested on human rights, uh, conventions and values, but to run a national institution of human rights, we had no experience. Then as soon as we take the off, took the office, we look at the action plan, and then we said, no, I think this action plan is not for Afghanistan. It was somehow copied from the other commissions, from the experience of the OHCHR on establishment of the National Institution of Human Rights. We just set aside and we said that we will work, make our own action plan because according to the need in the country. One of the problem, of course, was the human rights education because the people didn't know what is their rights. And the second was women's rights, the problem with the women in the country, the child rights, the rights of the people with disability because we have a lot of disabled people, and monitoring and investigation of the violation of human rights and also transitional justice, how to deal with the past crimes committed during the war in Afghanistan. So that's why we began. And now I think it's, it's more than 12 years. The commission is quite mature. We are member of Asia, full member of Asia Pacific Forum. We had A accreditation in the ICC, International Coordination Committee. Uh, it, in some points, the president wanted to interfere our, in our work and our decision. But I have to say, um, really, that I, I resist. We had one, one particular case of the um, death penalty of um, several people, 17 of them, in one, one time. So we released a, a statement. We did an interview that we were uh, we do have a concern about the uh, fair trial of these people. And he was very angry. And it was picked up by one of the Pakistani newspapers. Of course, they use it or misuse it politically against the, the government. And he picked up the phone. He was shouting that I should take back my words and I should have a press conference myself and say that it is not true. I said, I'm not doing it. He said he will refer us or send the case to the Supreme Court counsel, and I said, do whatever you want. You have the power, so take an action. This is a value that I'm standing for it, and I'm not going to do it the way you want me to do. He did refer us to the, uh, the Supreme Court counsel for this, but we, we came out, we survived. So I think that was um, a, a good lesson 
to the government. Um, I, I say this because when Louise Arbor came to Afghanistan, uh, we had a meeting together with her as a high commissioner uh, uh, with the president, and uh, she raised the issue of death penalty because she said that death penalty is not going to bring security, and I'm, and I'm fully agree with it. And the president said, oh, she, she fought with me. She, she taught me a lesson. I called her, and she... I mean, the way he confessed to the high commissioner that I fought for this, and he couldn't push us enough. And I think that is, uh, in, a, in a country like Afghanistan, it's, it's, a, it's a big achievement. 